Um, David George. Oh. A short introduction. <laughs> uh, I'm very pleased to be to ask to propose the toast to the, uh, the bride and bridegroom. Uh, but before I do, I'd like to just say a few things. Uh, I think Anne and I were thrilled today to witness the, the wedding of Nick and Helen. Um, it was a, a, a lovely uh, first. Thank you very much for that one. Uh, when Nick phoned me uh, to tell me that he and Nick had decided... Hello. <laughs> 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 I hope we were in agreement. I said, yes, please. Uh, I readily agree. Uh, I'm often told how old-fashioned I am. Oh, yeah. But I do feel that marriage is the backbone of any family relationship. <coughs> when Nick and Helen first decided to share a home together, there were many difficult decisions to be taken. Nick's move up to Lancaster meant that Helen had to leave her family and friends for the first time, especially from her sister Susie. We were both very close and always enjoyed sharing their motherly duties together. Of course, Helen had to give up her job and sell her little home. Thankfully, it had been the right decision. Nick and Helen have been very happy setting up their new home in Lancaster. Nick has given Helen <coughs> a confidence back and enjoyment of life, which has brought that smile back to her face. Anne and I would like to welcome Nick, Jenny and Ruth into our family as they, as they have welcomed Helen and Amelia into theirs. Jenny, I've only got one left, but look <laughs> Jenny and Ruth have accepted Helen as a big sister and Amelia <laughs> as their little sister <laughs> and have helped Amelia to settle down in the area and also help her to grow up from a little girl into a young lady. I'm sure it hasn't been easy. <laughs> we all know Amelia. Well, well. <laughs> uh, it, at times frustrating, but also <laughs> their efforts have allowed Amelia to feel wanted. Nick too has played a big part in supporting Helen and raising Amelia, which has been a great help to Helen. Success in marriage is more than finding the right person, it is being the right person. And I'm proud to be here to ce celebrate the marriage of these two lovely people. They are not only amazing in their own right, but also the right people for each other. <laughs> <laughs> I can only hope that Helen and Nick will be as happy as I am as I have been during the past 46 years. I have you poetic license, <laughs> but if anyone says we've been married 46 years and haven't had a row, I don't believe it. <laughs> uh, I'd like to thank Nick and Helen for this wonderful meal and for the proprieties that we've had today. I think I've been to a few places, but I don't think I've had one where the the, the portions were so brilliant. <laughs> but, but I hate to say this because you might say we give them too much, you know. <laughs> but it was absolutely superb. So thank you very much for that one. Ladies and gentlemen, please raise your glasses and join me in a toast to the bride and bridegroom, Nick and Helen. <laughs> 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 Thank you.
thank you to a few people. First, Alan, Alan David, and um, sorry, my right hand is wrong. <laughs> Uh, from the very first minute that we used to serve you, you made me very, very welcome to the family and um, very, very grateful for that. Um, Oh, help me, good Lord. 
What happened to Mummy? She's gone all funny. Falling in love, I suppose. And now look what's happened. The fraud has proposed. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I do hope it will last. <laughs> 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 